of Psalm 91. So stay with us just a second. Verse 1 says, He that dwelleth where? In the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Where else do you need to be? The secret place of, how do you know where that place is? You have a relationship with him. You spent some time with him. He said, I will not hide this thing. He said, look, I will do nothing unless I reveal it through my servants, the prophets. If our lifestyle has kept us from reading the servants of the prophets, we don't know where the secret place is. Therefore, we will not be under the shadow of the Almighty when the, when the Almighty fire and brimstone start coming down. But look how God is. Verse 2, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. How do you know that? How do you, tr I mean, how do you show that? You obey him. You go to the life he wanted you to have. Man, this is beautiful, isn't it? Amen. Why aren't we excited that we have the solution to the brimstone? Look at us. Hey, I'll be your refuge. I'll be your fortress. You're going to need a fortress, people. You're going to need one. He's already given you a fence. You know, we go in and out of it. But without him, we wouldn't even be here now. He said, I need you to put down what you think you know. Because what you know is going to get you killed. <laughs> it's like giving a 15-year-old a, a, a pistol. He don't know what to do with it. But he'll pull it out there, won't he? You pull out a pistol on somebody who knows how to use a pistol, what's going to happen to you? Yeah. You're going to get killed. He said, that's what you're doing now with your brain, with your mind, with your lack of understanding of who I am. You are out here playing with somebody who knows how to use this. Mm. And they're going to take you out. Mm. But he said, guess what happens? When you're under my wing, when you're in my shadow, no harm can come to you. Amen. He shall cover thee with his feathers, verse 4. And under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Oh, now, that's another layer we got to understand. His truth. Who is his truth? What is his truth? His word is truth. What's going to be your shield and buckler? buckler? His instruction, the Most High. His instruction is going to be that. See, it's not going to be just your, the, the miraculous things he's going to do. He's going to rain food out the air. He, it's not just that. His truth is your shield and buckler. Follow his word, his truth. Stop trying to make up excuses why you don't. Amen? Amen. Thou, verse 5, thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night. Oh, guess what's going to happen? If he makes that statement, there's going to be some terror. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are we ready for it? Oh, if we're not ready now, it's time to get in shape. Yes. Terrorist activity, oh man. It's, see, terrorist activity is different when it's on television. Yeah. When it's on television, yeah, that's bad. Ooh, show glad ain't over here. Terrorists at your front door is a little different. When terror is there in your face, the Lord said, you won't be afraid. Why? Because you're where he told you to be, and all the power of heaven is working on the obedient's behalf. I'd be afraid if I hadn't been with God. If you hadn't been doing what he asked you to do, man, you need to be shaking right now. Shaking so much you confess and repent. And said, Lord, help me, because I know I'm going to suffer because of my disobedience, but Lord, have mercy upon me. Let's keep reading. He said, not by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. What do we use for arrows these days? Bullets. Somebody start opening up fire on you. Or in your neighborhood. We hear it all the time. ba 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 that's automatic. He shot 11 times. Okay. Don't be afraid. See, this is real. Just because it's not real in your house, it's real in the world. These things are happening all over the world. Just because they didn't come to your house yet 
That means they're not there. I mean, it's not happening. It's happening somewhere that someone needs to hear what you heard this morning. How do I get out of this? He said, as a shadow of the Most High. Let me show you how to get there. See, that's what your job is. Show them where the shadow is. Show them where the, the, the trust is. Show them where the shield and the buckler is. Because you're walking in it. So sad to build your whole life on a lie. That all your energy has been for you. You ever done that? Well, you ever know anybody to do that? That their entire life is building up a, 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 this is what I want to do and I want to accomplish and I, oh, that'd be terrible. When, first of all, you find out that it ain't never going to happen. You know, people say, you know, the old days you pull yourself up by your bootstraps. There's not been anybody who's ever done that and been successful. Everybody had help. Everybody had a connection. I'm sorry. It just, I know we were taught that. It was an incentive to make you work harder. You can work hard without believing a lie. Amen. I'm my own man. No, you're not. You didn't even get here by yourself. It took two people to get you here. How are you your own man? I came out changing my own diaper. Yeah, okay. You are not what you think you are, but God is all in all. And he's ready to help us. He said, don't be afraid. Verse 6 says, nor for the pestilence that walketh in the darkness. Pestilence all over the world. P millions of people die every day. The pestilence. When it comes to your door, guess what have you been obedient? Somewhere, Sister Jerry, in the book of Exodus, it says, I will put none of these diseases on you if you will diligently hearken to my word. See, this will, mean, this will make a lot more impact on your life when this comes to your door. When terror and bullets and arrows and pestilence come near you, this will have a deeper impact. I'm, we, God's trying to give it, to make it have a deep impact right now. So we don't have to be on the other side of this thing. We'll be on the right side of it. And we'll be such in connection with God that we can go help somebody where this is happening too. Because isn't that what it's all about? Let's keep going. He said, for, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday, a thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Amen? Amen. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. Because you have made the Lord, your habitation is why these things won't happen to you. Do you believe that? Yes. What should we be about doing immediately? Making the Lord our habitation. Amen? Amen. 